Hey, and welcome back to Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber, and today we're going to make some snippet strips in book form. So um, this is what I had worked on a little while ago. And um, remember I told you back when I did my um, boho collaboration project to save those strips from the magazines that we kept. So um, that's what I'm using this for. And if you didn't do that project, you can just, you know, just cut a, a magazine. All I did was um, put a ruler and used my craft knife to cut through the layers. So then you have these. Um, I like these because I don't have to roll them up because I don't like having to flatten these out. You have to sit there and hold them <laughs> flat for a while with the glue. So this is a previous one I made in a roll. Um, and then I've also seen them done in, like as snippet books, but then you have to cut them out of them. Um, so I just really like this one because you just have the strip that's easily, you can cut it out easily and it lays flat. So, and they're easy to store. So this is one I, I made so I can just cut uh, a section of that or the whole thing if I want to. Um, you can even do it this way if you want to make like a belly band for it or something like that. So these you can use in with these magazines, you can use ones that are stapled or you can use the glued ones, it doesn't really matter. And then um, this one, I think this staple is up here. So I'm just gonna staple it one more time just for security. Um, if I can find my stapler, I'll use this one. I can get it in there. Okay. That wasn't such a great staple. <laughs> okay. But we're going to go with it. So we'll just. <laughs> it's really bad. <sighs> oh, I need my. Uh... My regular stapler, not this tiny one. But um, let's see if I can get that out because that's gonna bug me. Or you can just, you don't even have to staple it, you can just do like a little three hole pamphlet stitch there or whatever you wanna do, it doesn't really matter. But um, so we're gonna make, um, start another snippet strip book just so I can show you what I did. And um, so what I did as I just like cut out little letters, I might just use sticker letters for this one. Um, and I'm going to use for these snippet strips, if I can find my paper and find the one I want. There is a new kit out this month um, by Rachel and Bella Crafts. It's called Truly Blue, and that is what I'm going to use for my snippet strips. Um, I can't find the title sheet, but here's the background sheet. There's like a Truly Blue um, journal kit, the Truly Blue backgrounds, and uh, Truly Blue fussy cuts. So I'm going to be using those. So I actually used the title page just to make a cover here that's what i'm going to use for the cover and i'll probably put the letters on later i'm not going to do that right now so um i just need to measure this okay so actually i'll just glue it on and then cut it that's what i'll do so we just got our magazine strip and you can get, you know, probably like what, like four or five of these little books out of one magazine. So you can make lots and lots of snippet, um, snippet strip books and store them very easily flat and they're easy to cut out. So I'm just going to use that for my cover and then just cut out and you can make them any size you want to. So that's great. Um, there we go. So that is on this one. I made it a little more decorative. I think 
I put a little strip here. Maybe I'll put some washi there. How about that? Well, this one's not gonna go. That doesn't go that way. Let me get some washi here. Maybe that, no. How about, oh yeah, let's do that. That's cute. Get a little shine in there. So I'll just add that. And then I will add probably sticker letters um, later on. And I'll show you what that looks like at the end when it's finished. I don't need, did I cover the inside of this? I did. I covered the inside. Um, let me see. Oh, here it is. Here's the truly blue um, title sheet for the main kit. So I think I'll probably put that on the inside. I'll do maybe this one. So I'm going to cut that down really quickly. And I think I'll do it this way. Because I don't want... Well, maybe I will. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just not too concerned about it right now. I just want to get this covered, really. Because it's just the cover. It's not going on anything else. I don't have to be fussy about it. Just get it on there. Just get it on there, Amber, and move on with your life. All right, for the tutorial at least. All right, okay, so now we've got a cover done. So we'll start making our first snippet strip here. I'll ink that later, and I'll probably find my stapler and fix that later. So I'm going to use, for this one, I just use like a peachy kind of base on this one. So I'm gonna use another one This of these. This was the other side of the um, background title page. So I'm gonna use that. And which side do I wanna use? I think I'm gonna use this more neutral side. So I'm just gonna stick this background down and then get started. Just have a base. Okay. Okay. This is our base and I've got some things here. So I've got um, like labels and stamps and little cards and advertisements here that I'm gonna lay down first. And then I've got some uh, fabric pieces, lace, different fabrics that would go along with these colors. There's usually, there's mostly um, blue, uh, white, off-white, and um, some yellows in there. So I've got all these to play with. And then I've got some um, more focal pieces like uh, flowers and butterflies and um, the birds. So these all come out of the Fussy Cut kit. So we're gonna start by laying these down. Let's see what I want first. I think I will go with, I think this. I already inked most of these with like antique linen, I think. Yeah, the antique linen distress ink. So I've been thinking about um, kind of like my schedule, how I want to, um, like what days I want to put what kind of videos out. Oh, this is gonna clog. 
So what I'm thinking is Mondays are going to be um, Journal With Me Mondays. So that's basically going to be um, a, like uh, tips and tutorials or just a journal with me kind of thing. Like what do we put, what do you actually put in a junk journal? Like not like ephemera and pockets and tucks and things, but like what do you actually write in there? What do you actually um, keep in there? So, cause I've seen a lot of, you know, journal with me ones where they're just adding embellishments to it but not actually like doing the, the journaling part so I haven't seen a lot of those videos at all so I wanted to do that because I had trouble finding that when I started out and so I'm just gonna show you guys how I use a junk journal how my own junk journals and we'll just um, work on that together Tuesdays are gonna be tutorial Tuesdays so I'll have a new tutorial on those days uh, Wednesdays are going to be what's inside Wednesdays, um, which will be like unboxings and things like that. Um, and then Thursdays will be another tutorial. And then Fridays will be flip through Fridays, which, um, I will show you like a finished journal or finished project folio or something that I did. So, um, that might go up in my shop or, um, such things. So, I mean, there's probably not going to be five videos every week, but, um, those are the days that those type of videos will, will come up. So, um, that's the plan anyway. That's what we're gonna, gonna hope for. So, so this is like the, uh, the way that I like to do these snippet rolls. Um, I forget who I watched before that kind of did it this way. Um, I can't remember who it was. Uh, it was a while ago, but, um, this way works for me. So I like putting these kind of labels and tickets and things down first as a, um, as a first kind of base and then adding some lacy fabricy kind of things and then your focal piece pieces because you might have more than one if you're gonna um, put these into cut these into small snippets my glue bottle wants to clog that is not cool So what is your favorite way to do snippets? Um, these, the rolls, the um, book, the journal, or if you like this, um, this way, if you did it this way yourself. Sorry, my dishwasher is so loud over there. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not my dishwasher, that's my, uh, my washing machine. It was funny because my we got new um, washer and dryer, and my husband's like, "It's supposed to be a quiet machine, and it is the loudest thing." It was so loud. Like, I think you got duped, hun. This is not quiet at all. So, yeah, I don't know, but it is always loud. Okay, I think I want to put some fabric pieces on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I kind of like this lace. Oh, my kitty is meowing too. Any of you that have cats, are they thieves? Because my one of mine is. <laughs> She's a complete thief. She has stolen so much from my desk. She steals spools of thread. She, I don't know how many times she has stolen my glue brushes. And she steals 
my glue bottle. She loves these dangles. She steals those. So if I'm ever missing something on my desk, it's probably under the couch where she was playing with it. <laughs> she is such a little thief. And she's cute though, but don't tell my husband I said that because uh, that's his cat. And I always fuss about her. And she's like, oh, he's like, no, she couldn't possibly do that. She's so cute. She would never do that. Yeah, right. Complete thief. She is cute, though. She is quite the cute cat. I think she's, uh, she's some kind of mix. She's, uh, Either Maine Coon, Maine Coon or Norwegian Forest Cat. She's very playful. Let's see. I like this. I think that's actually our cat Willow that's meowing. Wondering where everybody went. See, I think that's too big. I don't want that big. This is probably my hardest thing is like figuring out where I want the fabric at. I'm not sure about that one yet. Maybe some. I like this, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I can never figure out what I want. Like I said, I just. I take forever decorating things. Because I just. I'm terrible at making decisions. I want to like this little, little floral bit. Oh, I think I missed it. <laughs> Let me get another piece. Okay, I just want the floral piece. I'm going to go here. See, that's where my trouble is. I get it too small. And then it comes, it becomes a mess. Okay, so I like maybe like that. I'm not sure if it's too dark or not. I don't know. I kind of like it there. Let's do that. That's cute. You don't know, it might get covered up by a another piece. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, I like this gold. I do like that. What kind of things do you like to put in your snippet strips? Do you, um, do you ever put anything like... Um, like die cuts or buttons or things like that in there. I kind of just stick to this, really. I might want to put that there. This is such a, like, just a simple formula for me. I think like when I get, when I actually get it onto a project, then I might add more to it, but I think this is a good base. Let's see, maybe I'll add one more thing. 
I might want some yellow because I don't have any yellow yet. Let's see, which kind of yellow do I want? Or maybe the soft yellow? That might be pretty. Snippet strips fun. They're just so cute. Let's see. Maybe there. Or maybe up here. Hmm, we're done with this. I think maybe right there. I'm not confident about using fabrics in my journals. I'm just, I haven't done a lot with it yet. I'm so used to, like, I used to, I, I was like a sewist for like 20 years. So I'm like, well, sewing is, <laughs> fabric is for sewing like quilts and garments and things like that. And I'm like, how do I put this? It's just like, it doesn't sit right with me yet. I'm slowly coming around to it. Uh, I think I need something right there. Should I add some pink? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Maybe this. Or maybe... I do kind of like... It's kind of a bold... Bold fabric. Bold color. It's nice and bright, so I might try that give it a little pop. This will be fun. I'll make it a little bit shorter. I saw this, um, Someone posted um, some tags they made recently in a group, and one of the journal cards said, find what you love and let it save you. And that just really stuck with me because art did really kind of save me in a time that was very difficult for me just finding something that I loved and was passionate about, um, which was both collage and junk journaling, really did save me in a way. Um, and, I, you know, it was my Heavenly Father that brought me to that realization. He, uh, you know, he led me to um, discover my cre creative side and to really work on that. and. Um, he knew what I needed. Okay, I'm going to add some things. He's like got vocal things here. Where do I want to add? Got some butterflies. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that butterfly. I really want to add a bird just because I love birds. Which bird though? There's so many. There's this little guy, he's cute. Let's see. I kinda like him there with that little diamond there. That's cute. Maybe I'll put the butterfly here. That's a, more like a moth, isn't it? Because it's got the fuzzy antenna. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder if you guys have as much trouble as I do. <laughs> this decision making is terrible, really. 
one's a bit big, I think. I do like this. I just don't know where I want to put it. I'm thinking I don't like that anymore. <laughs> Too late to change it though, right? Let's see. That's another bird. I don't want to put another. Oh, someone's mad. She's stomping up the stairs. Ooh, someone is mad. Maybe I want that there. No, guys. Oh, I like that. I think I'll do that. That's cute. And then now we could maybe add the butter, the moth here. Maybe. Or, I don't know. I definitely like this bird here. I know that. I know I like that. That's just like, I think this is me. Might be too big. I don't know. Maybe if I just. Hmm. No, not quite. I might add. Maybe add something to the top. Yeah, probably like that because I think that tones it down a bit. You still have that bold fabric peeping through, but it's not so in your face. Okay, I like that better. I'm gonna glue that one on. else always has glue on their fingers. It's never ending. Okay, got my bird. I don't know if I'll put another one there. I kind of like that. Well, let me just see if I have like a, maybe a small flower or something. Maybe. I might just put that there. Wow, my washing machine is really loud. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, I don't know if I don't know if I want that moth there or not. But I kind of want the three, the bird, butterfly, moth, flower type thing. Let's see. safe option but it's just what I'm feeling tonight okay so I'm just gonna cut off the excess here So isn't this awesome? This is just such an easy way to do snippets. Like, it's just so easy to pull out and cut off a piece. And you don't have to worry about it being curled up or um, 
getting it out of a certain place in a book that you've glued it onto. It's just right there, ready to use. Super. Let me throw those out. I'm gonna keep that little mason jar, that's cute. There we have it, guys. How cute is that? Isn't that a great way to make a um, snippet strip? Look how pretty that is. I'll just cut that off and use that in a journal. And I think it would be nice if you had a little bit of pieces like um, extending outward. Um, but I'm just going to keep this pretty straight for now. Uh, but I think it would be nice to have some that extended off the page. Um, and then I'm, so I'm going to go put a title on this and then I'll show you what that looks like um, in just a few minutes. All right, there we are. I didn't have the greatest alphabet stickers, so I just um, used these ones that I had from the dollar store and stuck it on a little scrap piece of um, background paper that I had. So um, not too worried about the cover. It's just me that's going to be <laughs> using it and seeing it. So I uh, just had to put something there. And then we have our first snippet strip and we've got this one. So I'm gonna fill these two books up with beautiful strips like this. And just, I need to still need to, um, this one's, yeah, this one needs to be a little stitch too. So I'm just gonna do a little um, three hole pamphlet stitch to secure those in. But thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm glad you were here today to chat with me and, um, uh, learned this, <laughs> learned this little technique um, that works for me. Let me know if you like it. If you didn't like it, if you didn't like the tutorial, um, please consider hitting that like button and maybe even the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you again soon. And um, I think this will go up Monday. So no, this will go up Tuesday, I believe. And so Wednesday, I should have another unboxing for you tomorrow. So um, have a great day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.